Good morning, and this morning I want to talk about Microsoft's wireless display and the ability that they have now given us to actually stream our desktop to our PC. Now, this was made available, blimey, 18 months ago or something like that now. Uh, where it never seemed to work properly and it was only up for a little while and they took it down. So obviously they were having problems with it. But they've now released it again and I've had a little bit of a play around with it. And, well, to be frank, it's very clunky. But um, I'm going to just show you how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need the wireless display app. And the way you do that is that you would go into the store and you would search for wireless display. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Let me see, wireless display, there you go on the left hand side. So you would click on that. And I've already got this installed, so I'm just showing you what you want. So yeah, as I say, wireless display it says launch here, but you would need to install it. Once you've installed it, then what you'll need to do is you need to go back to your PC. So that's what we're going to do now. One thing you want to do briefly, though, before you go back to the PC is you actually want to open the app, because if the app's not open, this ain't going to work. <laughs> So let's just open that now. And it says Xbox One is ready for you to connect wirelessly. And once you see that screen, you should be good to go. So if you hit the select button or start button, whatever it's called these days, and bring that up, it will show you that it's last connected to my PC. And uh, that looks all ready to go. You've got controller setup, shows you the various options for the controller here. and. Uh, that's pretty much it. But this is the screen you want to leave up. So that's already in uh, waiting for us to go back to the PC. So as I say, that's what we need to do now. OK, right. So now we're at the desktop. And the first thing you may notice or you may not notice <laughs> is that my desktop looks a bit odd. And the reason for that is that it's set to 1080p as opposed to 4K. Now, I've got a 4K monitor and I usually run my PC at 4K. But in order to make this work, I had to set the PC to output to the same resolution as the Xbox. Now, again, normally I run my Xbox at 4K, but I'm actually running it at 1080p this morning because I'm running it into a 1080p television. So in order to make this work, and I frigged and faffed about all morning trying to make this work, you will need to set the resolution to the same on your PC as you've got it on your Xbox. Now, that shouldn't be the case. It should scale properly and all the rest of it, but it doesn't seem to do that at the moment. And I ran into all sorts of problems getting things to work, even getting my controller to work properly when the resolutions were different. So, as I say, your mileage might vary on that, but I would suggest that if you're having problems with this, set your PC to output to the same resolution as your Xbox. And ideally, you probably want to try 1080p because you may not have the bandwidth to stream games at 4K to your Xbox. Again, your mileage might vary. All that being said, though, let's get on with it. Uh, in order to bring up the menu you need to do this, you need to hit the Windows key and P, and it brings up this menu. And as you can see, there are, what, five options there? Uh, four options, well, five if you include the Connect to Wireless Display. Screen only, duplicate. Now, duplicate is the one that I've been trying to use the most. And in effect, what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to make an exact copy of the screen you see here on the Xbox. Now, <laughs> that's the theory. The reality is that when I do that, again, I run into problems. Again, your mileage might vary, but it was an issue for me. So what I had to do was actually set it to set second screen only. So well, try it with duplicate. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to set it to second screen only. But the problem there is at that point, the screen that we're looking at at the moment is going to go blank. So anyway, let's um, go into connect to a wireless display. 
And as you can see here, it says Xbox One display. So you, then, you would then click on that and it should connect. Now, <laughs> what it's actually done is what I said it would do. It's actually, for some reason, it's defaulted to second screen only. So hopefully this is still recording because if it's not, I'm buggered. <laughs> but if it is still recording, then uh, hopefully uh, I'm, I can move to the Xbox and we should carry on from there. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll see you over at the Xbox. Right, so now we're back on the Xbox and uh, it may not look like the Xbox because I'm moving the cursor around. And as you can see, it's moving fine, but you should just listen. You can hear the uh, distinctive click clack of the Xbox controller. Now, there's two modes here. You've got the keyboard and mouse mode, which is what I'm using now. And obviously that's limited because you're really only using it as a mouse. There is no keyboard support on this as it stands at the moment. But if you hit the what used to be called start and select, the options button and the share button, whatever they're called, the ones below the uh, Microsoft Xbox button, the glowing one in the middle, if you hit those two buttons together, you see a little green icon flash up briefly, and that's now changed to game mode or controller mode. Now, if I try and use the cursor now, it's not working. So if I press those two buttons again, brings back keyboard and mouse control, and there you go. I can move the cursor. And just to show you that I am definitely in Windows, let's hit the uh, Xbox button, and there you go. Got all the Xbox controls up. And there you go, all working fine. You can go in and you can bring up the Windows menu. And it's a bit tricky, but you can whoop, scroll through there as well. Look. And that all works fine. One thing you won't be able to do is play Netflix from your PC on here or Amazon. Any any protected services won't work streaming from the PC. But why you would want to do that anyway, given that you can use them directly on your Xbox, is anyone's guess. But anyway, so that seems to be working. The desktop seems to work fairly well. Obviously, there are restrictions. But um, what about games? Because that would seem to be the most obvious reason for using this. And... There are games obviously available on PC that aren't available on the Xbox. And again, there are limits there because you're not going to be able to play games that use only the keyboard and mouse, but there are games that would work perfectly fine. So let's go in and have a look at Steam briefly. Where's Steam? Let's load up Steam. And that's loaded up OK. And as you can see, we've got the store at the moment. We can go into library. And as you see, on my library, I've got Wreckfest loaded up. Now, Wreckfest is a driving game that was recommended to me by Count over at Gamecast. And uh, you should check out Gamecast. They're worth having a look at. And those guys sit in with me sometimes. But uh, yeah, give them a look. But anyway, let's get let's get to it. You want to have a look at games. So Wreckfest is a great game to try because it's not currently available on the Xbox. It will be later in the year. I think it's coming around September time. But for the time being, it's an exclusive on the PC. So let's see if we can uh, stream it from my PC. Now, I will say here, I'm currently on keyboard and mouse mode. If I hit play now, it's going to take me to the game. If I go into the game and I'm on keyboard and mouse mode, it's going to cause me a problem. So what I'm going to need to do is select A to play the game and then immediately hit start and select or, or options and whatever it's called these days. Hit those two together and uh, that will then change over to controller mode. So I press A and then hit those two straight away. So A and now we're in controller mode. If I don't do that, now again your mileage might vary on this, but if you don't do that you may find that you can't actually get into using it in controller mode, at which point you're not going to be able to use the game. But uh, let's just let it load up and see what happens. And we're in the game. And currently it's saying 
and press enter. But now if you look, it's changed to A to continue. So let's press A on the Xbox controller and we're in. I'm going to go into a custom event. Uh, Crash Canyon, that'll do. Let's just go through all this, select it all. We just want to get into it and play it. Start event. So as I say, we're still in the Xbox. I can show you by bringing that up. Game still loading. And we're in. And uh, this is a fantastic game. It's great fun. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of burnout type thing. Uh, you know, all those old smash them, crash them type games. But it's an awful lot of fun, this one. But I am playing this, as you can see, currently on the Xbox. And it's streaming pretty well. And I'm using this through a, a home plug sort of network thing, uh, through the mains, because I haven't got an Ethernet running into my office. So you could actually get a better connection playing this or, you know, using this feature. Uh, if you used Ethernet or, you know, you could try it wirelessly, I suppose. Yeah. I've actually won this event, so uh, I'm doing really badly at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, it seems to be running relatively smoothly, apart from my driving, which is utter <laughs> crap. But yeah, it's it's the, there doesn't seem to be an... Yeah, well, there's some lag. Not an awful lot. Oh, that was good. There. Yeah, now I've gone all over the place. So, let me see. If I go... Let's see. I'm going to go straight line and then I'm going to hit left and go over to the other side. So I'm going to hit left now. Nope. Let's hit it hard. There you go. Over the other side. <laughs> so let's try that again. I'm going to hit the handbrake and I'm going to skid. Is the handbrake working? This is the question. Everything else seems to be working okay. That's okay. So I'm going to hit left now. Yeah, that seemed to be okay. It's not too bad. This eh, doesn't seem to be much noticeable lag, to be honest. I can't can't notice too much I mean as I say my driving is diabolical but that's not the point we're trying to test this out backwards hit accelerate accelerates going Let's see if handbrake works I'm not sure if handbrakes working that well to be honest if at all Yeah, anyway, look, uh, I'm in the game. There may be some tweaks that you need to do with this to get it all up and running perfectly. But um, it seems to me that all the buttons work fine. Uh, there's very little lag. Uh, maybe if you were playing a competitive shooter, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't recommend streaming a competitive shooter across your network while playing online, to be honest. I think you might run into some problems there. But uh, other than that... I, I think I could sit and play this game quite happily on my TV, streaming from my Xbox. It works pretty well. And uh, as I say, there, there are other streaming options out there. But uh, this this seems to be working fine once you get it up and working. There are some caveats. I have spent all morning trying to get this to work. I can't lie to you. It's been an absolute pain. And... Even with changing the settings, the only way I could get it to work was to have it just on this screen and not on my PC. So if I wanted my PC up at the same time, not happening for me. You may find it works fine. But I even found when I changed the settings, it didn't always register that I changed the settings. So if I was trying to duplicate the, the screen between the PC and the Xbox, didn't always duplicate. Sometimes it would just send it to the Xbox. And I was having some problems early on with this and I couldn't work out why it wasn't working. So, again, your mileage might vary. 
But it's interesting, and it's only going to get better over time. It's certainly better than the last time they tried to roll this out. But anyway, that's me done. Uh, I don't think there's much more to say about this. Let me know if you've tried this in the, in the comments, and we can talk about it. And if you have any issues setting it up, let me know, and we can talk about that. I might be able to help you. You might even be able to help me. But anyway, that's me done, as I say. And uh, I'm going to drink what's left of my cup of tea, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.